the way I move. First you slide, then you boom. That's a couple going on you. Oh, yeah, watch the way I move. Oh, yeah, watch the way I move. Oh, yeah, watch the way I move. First you slide, then you boom. That's a couple going on you. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about this up and coming movie, which is titled Beverly Hills Cop 4. Be sure to smash the like button on this video and subscribe to my channel if you guys are new here watching for the very first time. Also, a link in my description will be a Discord server just in case you guys want to join it. Go ahead and feel free to do that. Once again, drop a like on this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit me up in the comment section with your personal thoughts and or opinions on the movie Beverly Hills Cop 4. Now, with that being said, um, the strike is now officially over. So just in case you were underneath a rock and you didn't know, now you know. So what does that exactly mean for us, the viewers? Well, now we're going to be receiving a lot more content drops all over social media, meaning we're going to be seeing trailers, we're going to be seeing images, we're going to be having general conversations about what is coming next. And this is one of the first things that I've seen hit the internet so far. A picture of Eddie Murphy, aka Axel Foley, as you guys um, can see by the attire itself. He's still wearing the Detroit Lions uh, uh, jacket here after 40 plus years, which is, I gotta say, it's amazing to me because, you know, over time you get bigger, you know what I'm saying? Your muscle mass grows, your limbs, they stretch and everything like that. So the fact that he's still able to get into this jacket is really, really awesome. I know a lot of people are complaining about it because they're going to probably say, you know what, it's been 40 years. Why is he still wearing the same attire? But hey, he's Axel Foley. You feel me? He's comfortable wearing this. This is his casual look. And to be honest, we don't know where in the timeline does this movie actually fall. You know what I'm saying? Because the movies, when they first started, which was the first one, came out in like 1984. You know what I'm saying? So if this movie is still following the timeline, I would appropriately put it maybe the late 90s, closing in on the early 2000s era, if I'm being honest. Now, with the uh, installment of Beverly Hills Cop 3, we went in a totally different direction. The tone was a lot different, and it was possibly the worst of the franchise itself. And that's me saying, in my honest opinion, you know what I'm saying? I'm not just agreeing with what I see on the internet, but I watched all three films and I'm a 90s kid, you feel me? So I had to catch one on the replay. And that's the situation that we're, you know, dealing with right now in this current time. Everything that you guys are starting to discover from way back when is on replay. You know, you can catch it on TV all the time. They're always showing Beverly Hills Cop 1 on a commercial channel or Beverly Hills Cop 2 on a commercial channel. And then you'll catch Beverly Hills Cop 3 on one of the movie channels, you know. So we were able to catch up. So, you know, with me watching 1 and 2 and 3, I was able to fully sit down and dissect each of those movies back in the day when I was younger. And I noticed that, you know... The excitement, the thrilling of one and two definitely left the building when it came out with three. They even took us to a damn theme park, an amusement park, and it was called Wonder World. So I don't know what happened with uh, Beverly Hills Cop 3, um, but I did hear some rumors that he didn't want to actually do the movie itself because of that factor that they wanted to go in a different direction. And basically... You know, when it comes down to Hollywood, if the directors are not, you know, on board with the actors and everything like that, people go their separate ways. So I'm hoping that for um, part four, they return back to the original roots. Give us the shootout fights. You know what I'm saying? Give us the nightclubs. Give us the strippers, the naked girls. You know what I'm saying? Give us the glorified crime scenes, all of that stuff. Now, if we had to assume where he is in current, you know, in, in current timeline status, he should be well beyond retired now, or probably should be in charge of the police department itself. He should probably be the captain and everything like that. Maybe he still goes out there on, you know, 
on you know day shifts and everything like that just to uh you know stretch the legs he doesn't want to be caught up in the office he'd rather be in the action instead of you know uh signing papers and whatnot and that's cool you feel me i would love to see axel foley be an axel foley in broad daylight or in the middle of the night or something like that and give us hijinks too remember the banana in the tailpipe thing yeah bring that back <laughs> Man, yo, I swear the first two movies were just freaking perfect, bro. The alphabet crimes and everything like that. That that was so cool. You know what I'm saying? Just giving us pure mystery and we being able to solve it while we're watching the movie right along with it was really, really dope. You know what I'm saying? And um, as far as the rest of the cast, I don't know who else is returning as far as like Tiger and Rosewood. I don't know where those guys would be at this point in time. We did see them basically get some um, some promotions in both of their fields. Um, Rosewood had this whole situation with Wonder World where he had a section of like L.A., um, Beverly Hills. You know what I'm saying? Like he had a portion of, you know, somewhere on the map where he's kind of like in charge of things. So it was kind of cool to see him taking a different role. And then, of course, you had Tiger who, you know, got a promotion and everything like that. And he was also shipped across the country. So um, if we can get a reunion with those characters and bring them back for uh, part four, that'd be awesome. You know? Um, what else can I say? Sergey. <laughs> if they bring back Sergey as well, I think that will add in to returning back to the roots because he was a, he was a, he's like, I wouldn't say that he is a background character because he was kind of like a friend to Axel. You know what I'm saying? Axel could rely on him for certain things. And then, like I said, his just, his overall essence of the character itself being Sergey was was funny, you know what I'm saying? Because he was, he, he, I can't really say what he was because, you know, we're in a different time now. But if you watch the movies, you will understand the way that he did things and the way that it came off to you, basically. So, yeah, if we can bring back Sergey in 2023 and just let him be as free as he was, yeah sign me up bro like literally sign me up i'm a 90s kid so i'm definitely on board for this movie and this is not the only movie that is coming back from basically from the dead you know what i'm saying rush hour that's coming out with another movie as well chris tucker and jackie chan returning in their old ages so if eddie murphy can return those guys can return as well you know will smith we're getting another i am legend so that's gonna be great as well Oh my God, it's going to be, it's going to be hectic. You know what I'm saying? In Hollywood, it's going to be hectic. All of these movies coming out, all of these old guys reprising their roles, returning back to their, you know, to their prime forms. It's going to be amazing and it's going to be fantastic. And I'm part of the ride. You know what I'm saying? Even Hugh Jackman returning back to Wolverine. Like, how could y'all not be excited about these people reprising their roles? People that are complaining right now are probably too young to understand what these movies were about so yeah that's all i gotta say I'm proud of me. I hope my mama proud of me. Cause I dubbed college just so I could focus on a dream. I know my mama died of me, salute me, nasty down with me. Now two bros going back and forth, sibling rivalry. Who the side gotta be? Do numbers like the lottery. The coldest every winter, every summer, nothing hot as me. And if I spring up, build my nigga on the side of me. Ready